So here's our topography in AdaCAD. There is no 3D information whatsoever and it's just pure 2D line work. And we will extract that elevation information from these elevation marks. One thing to note is that we will extract that information from this point in the left lower corner. So let's open another topography and we will see that most of the times the elevation marks have the spot point in the upper left corner. And in my practice this varies a lot and depends on the person who made this file. Here you can see that in this file the spot point is in the upper left corner and to fix that we have to select all the elevation marks and change the justify property to not top left but to left. Here you can see that all the elevation marks jumps up and we have only one point. So back to our topography. In this topography you can see that the points jump around and the elevation marks jump around and they are not consistent so we will not do anything about that. But what we have to do is we have to mark one elevation for the later alignment. So I will select the most left one, draw a circle and copy the x and y position from the text element to the circle center. And later you will see why is that important. And now we can see that the circle moves to the position point of the text element. And we will now draw two lines just to represent the center of the circle. Now select all the text elements select similar isolate them and here you can see all the elevation marks write e text and create new data extraction settings file save that and later you can reuse that settings file select the objects press next here you can see that we have only text objects uncheck all the properties and check only position x y and value these are the properties that we are going to extract Press next and uncheck these three options, we don't need them. So save the output file as a CSV file. Save that, press next and finish the extraction of the data. Now remember to end object isolation and remember to save the file with this circle here. Now let's go to the Revit. In the Revit you need to link the CAD file. Insert, link CAD, link your topography, choose import units. Here you can see your imported topography. Now we have to enable survey point and project base point under site and visual graphics overrides. So we can see the project and survey base points. Draw a section and go to the section and do the same. Go to clip without line, go to visual graphics overrides and under site enable project and survey base points. Next let's go to the site, create from import file and create from specify points file. Ok, specify units, meters and here you can see your topography is created and centered. Ok, now go to the section our 3D view and here you can see your 3D topography. Great. There are a few more steps to do to align the topography. So to align it vertically pick a point and that will be your base elevation point. Let's say that one. Go to the section, select survey point, unpin it and move it up by the amount indicated in the elevation mark. In this case 90580. Pin it back, select both of them and move them down by the same amount. In the plan view select view range, VR and then change the view range cut plane to let's say 10,000. Ok, when that is done, edit your topo surface. And here you can see very often made mistake, you don't see all of the elevation points. So go back to the view range and set unlimited to view depth. When that is done you can edit your topo surface and you can see that you see all of the points. Now zoom out and select all of those elevation points. MV move and select the left one. And now you can see why we needed that circle by the elevation mark. Now you can move the rest of the points to the locations if they are off. And basically you are done. And to see if your alignment is correct you can set spot elevation. See that the project base point is zero. Double cat elevation mark and set elevation base to survey point. Set units to meters. And basically you are done. The elevations are equal. Now you can just check for the other points if they are on the locations or not and move them manually. So you just save yourself a few hours of manual work. Hope this helped. Have a great day and see you in the next video.